So first question I have for you, what, what is MongoDB? I mean, is it a, is it a NoSQL database? Yes, um, it is. It's a non-relational database. It's um, document-oriented, so that means that uh, basically in whatever language you're using, you can use sort of like a dictionary or an associative array and just persist it to the database and get it back. Mm -hmm. So it's a much more natural way of storing your data than a relational database where you have to squash your data into a row, rip it up, you know, put it into a database. Right. So how is it uh, in comparison to other non-relational databases? Um, well, there are a bunch of different kind of non-relational databases. Um, a lot of them are key value stores where mm -hmm. you just can look up things by one key um, and then you get a blob of data related to that key. Um, Mongo is more similar to people who are familiar with uh, MySQL or other relational databases where you can look up things by any key. You can have secondary indexes. You can sort things or arrange things however you want. Um, so it's a bit more powerful mm -hmm. in that way. Um, in terms of uh, other document-oriented databases, um, you can use like MapReduce to query Mongo, but most people just use ad hoc queries unless they're doing sure. um, some sort of reporting application. Right. Now I know that it's used on New York Times, GitHub, Business Insider. Mm -hmm. uh, those are all larger sites, larger organizations. Does it have application beyond those larger organizations? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, there are tons of smaller ones. It's just no one's ever heard of them. Uh, sure. <laughs> <if> you, <laughs> right, right. You know, we have a production deployments section on our website that lists almost 100 companies now, mm. I think, that are using them, and we probably haven't heard of most of them. Sure, so, sure. Um, it, It's very handy for programmers because it's got a really fast development cycle. You know, you don't have to define a schema or change it, do migrations. So a lot of smaller companies really find it helpful because they can get something out the door really fast mm -hmm. with it. So the last question I have for you, it's kind of a broad question, but is there a tipping point that people should consider uh, when moving to a non-relational database? Is it a certain amount of traffic? Is it a certain type of need? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of people move over just because MySQL is, or Oracle or whatever they're using is just not working for their use case anymore. Um, you know, that is the bottleneck of their application and they are denormalizing their data anyway, so um, why not go with a non-relational database? Uh -huh. um, and also some people are using it for things that they've never been able to do before with a relational database, like um, Mongo's great for analytics. You can uh, throw so much data into it um, that people are doing things with analytics that they've never been able to do before. Uh -huh. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. Great.